Hey guys, what's up? It's day 39. I just came downstairs from having a shower and there was this bee in here and I was so freaked out because he kept chasing me around everywhere. You guys would have been laughing your asses off. But I got a book, one of the girls' books, and I swatted the hell out of it. And then Pickles runs up and she just picks it up and eats the thing. I'm like, oh, I wish you could have seen it. It was really funny. But I was scared and you would have laughed at me and my misfortune. So I woke up at about 3 o'clock this morning with my hands just screaming with pain. I cannot take it. Oh, I, the, the doctor gave me these pills and they're just not doing anything for me at all. I mean, they're supposed to be anti-inflammatories or something or other, similar to ibuprofen, but some you can't get over the counter. But they are doing absolutely nothing for me. I keep waking up at night and I couldn't go back to sleep to save my life. So I've been awake since like 3 o'clock in the morning. So I came downstairs and called my sister, who's in America, because it was like 9 o'clock in the evening there. And had a long conversation with her because I never get the chance to talk to her on the phone because she's either at work and I'm asleep. By the time she gets home from work, I'm in bed usually. So it was just nice to call her but I'm really paying for it now what I did was is I started working on my assignment about five o'clock this morning because I'm like I've got energy now but I won't have any later and I don't I was right because I feel just totally out of it now and I just want to go to sleep but for some reason I cannot fall asleep when it's light outside unless I'm just really really tired it takes a lot for me to fall asleep when it's light outside is anybody else like that or is that just me i mean i've even got like black venetian blinds in my bedroom and a dark curtain and it just still doesn't cut it i'll shut the door i'll try to get as much light out as i can i'll put a blanket over my head i just my body thinks okay you're not supposed to be sleeping so you have to be awake so annoying. I hate it. I wish I could sleep anytime I want. I mean, you, you like go some places like on airplanes, on buses, and people are just sitting there with their eyes closed, sleeping away like it's no thing. I can't do that. I can't sleep anywhere like some people. I wish I had that ability. I have to be in a very, very like pitch black dark room and just in my bed. Oh, so not fair. So I was thinking I'll start doing like a random website every day since I really enjoy going and finding them and just pointless stuff. Um, I found this one this morning and it's just like a screen full of buttons that make sounds and it's www.instancefun.es. I'll put the link in the under bar so you can have a look. But all it is is like, it's just like a giant soundboard and you've got like loads of different options here. Um, I just make odd noises and yeah it could it could be fun but I thought it was kind of entertaining for a while so if you just want to burn some time that's where to go Here's my fact of the day. Yesterday, STLHOUXR4 asked me, what are some of your favorite memories from growing up? I didn't have a really nice childhood. Um, it wasn't great, to be honest. Um, I was in foster care from the age of 12 until I was old enough to take care of myself on my own. Uh, that's a whole other bag of worms, though. Um, but I do remember when we were really young, um, my mom and our stepdad, who's like, the only person who's ever been a real dad to me, and he still is. I still call him dad. He's been, I've known him since I was about two. Um, but they used to take us to Branson, Missouri for, you know, vacation every year. And I really enjoyed that. I remember going to Silver Dollar City and stuff like that. So that's my fact of the day.